Which I think just goes hand in hand with what you just said. It's one of the largest drafted classes we've had in a long time. Yeah. How many rookies? And you can throw in a UDA or two if you thought if you thought you liked that UDFA signing class we had. How many rookies make the initial 53? I'm not talking practice squad and then called up the initial 53, the offseason 53. How many of these rookies make it? I don't see a ton of holes on this roster, boys. Like, I don't – when I look at the 53 before the draft, I didn't see more than six or seven roster spots up for grabs, and we drafted more than six or seven kids. So, um, I'd like to hear – I'd like to hear how many of these guys you think make the make the roster. Mm. I've got – now, One, two, should we note three. that in the past few years, every draft pick has made it, but we have not picked nine players in, like – I don't know how many oh. years it's been, but it's it's been a while since we've had a haul this big. Mm-hmm. Um, first thing, should we mention also that this is the smallest UDFA class how he's ever had? Which I think just goes hand in hand with what you just said. It's one of the largest drafted classes we've had in a long time, yeah. and that's going to correspond well, we also, to with one. We also led the league going into the draft in players under contract. It, it, it's mm-hmm. a, it's a, and this all comes back to the COVID 90 man roster one cut off season. But I think the Eagles are ahead of every team in the NFL in this aspect by far. But um, all right, I'll go with uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eight out of the nine make it, and I think that they can I think that they can sneak McMahon down to the practice squad and call him back up. Um, what I want to point out at linebacker that'd be interesting for Jeremiah Trotter is how does this team view Zach Vaughn? Um, pass rusher or multi kind of, you know, I mean, he's played, he played inside outside for the saints. So, you know, they wanted Van Ginkle, they settled for Zach Vaughn, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go eight out of nine and no, I'm gonna go no UDFAs for, I think the first time in like since 2020 is, is the stat that uh, no UDF UDFAs would make the final 53. Nate. Ooh, man. So we had nine total draft. Yeah, we drafted nine guys, and I think we signed four. Is that right? UDFA uh, was four. I think we signed at six. Seven. Oh, I, I just said seven. Is it seven? I, okay. I seven with a bunch of rookie with a bunch of rookie mini camp invites. Which oh, is- okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so they've okay. got a lot of invites. I saw it was the least amount of money we've spent on a UDFA class in a while too. So I don't even. Oh, it's it's out yeah. of character, and how he admitted it at the post draft presser. It's it was kind of hilarious watching him cringe, mentioning he's only signing you know sub ten UDFA's. I mean, he was just like, "Well, it's gonna be a small class." Yeah, I think um, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. I think seven. So who are you cutting? You got somebody who you cutting? I think we cut. Um, I don't think Smith makes it. <laughs> we just talked about him. I can't wait Dang. to have this conversation. This we is fine. great. I'm so glad. I'm so I'm glad we had this conversation because Ernie B's got him wide receiver three and Moss Money's got him off the roster. And can this I please great. clarify that I think we need another one? <laughs> I think Paris Campbell can't stay healthy. And I think Devontae Parker, who statistically has the worst separation of any NFL wide receiver in the past 10 years. I mean, but, he, he, but he's brought in to block. He ain't. Devontae Parker, Devontae Parker actually had one of the better uh, blocking. Uh, he's back to back years now. He's been one of the four one ninety five. He should be decent. I mean, I don't know. I just don't like. The, I didn't like the Devontae Parker sign. I didn't like it. It it it, it hurt me. I don't well, like. Well, I mean, I, I and I, I just I just think that uh, you know, and I think this might be looking ahead about you know how we drafted and who has say behind the scenes here. But I'm looking at our draft class, and I just think we keep our linemen, right? I think we keep our linemen. I think we keep our running back, obviously the two uh, cornerbacks. So the only thing that's really left is Trotter's going to make it, and then you have the two receivers that we drafted. And um, I think they'll fall in love with Johnny Wilson's size. 